Hello, everyone. All right. So today I'm not going to have my usual Amazon returns bin store haul up because I didn't go earlier this week. Um, I'll probably go this coming Tuesday. So instead, because it is June 30th, it's the last, it's basically now the last day of the first six months of the year, I wanted to go ahead and show, um, you know, how it's been going in terms of like with my um, Hobonichi Weeks. So this is my first year whole, uh, using the weeks. And, um, you know, I've always just stuck with one planner and that's like the, um, the regular Hobonichi, the Techo. Um, and I started out with the A5 um, in the last couple of years. And then this year, actually, no, last year made the change over to the A6 because I found that the A5 was just a little too big to fill up for everything in one day. So this has been working great in terms of like for journaling, but um, I went ahead and got the weeks because I wanted to keep track in terms of like for my fitness and um, health, right? So um, let's go ahead and dive into it. So this is a band that I got from Clarissa, um, Paper Confessions with Karamia here on YouTube. She had sent this to me um, for my birthday. It actually came in a pack of two from Daiso and they're actually meant for um, bento boxes. But what I went ahead and did was that I stuck this patch on there. I have like a packet of these patches. I forgot what, crap, I forgot what designer this is from. Obviously they're fake. But um, anyways, I just thought they were really cute. And um, I just wanted to stick with something because I'm more about like silver than I am gold. And I thought this would work well with this uh, mint green color. It's more on the cool side than it is on the warm side. So I just glued this patch on, but it's, I think the glue is just not holding on. So I'm going to probably have to go ahead and just hand stitch it. So it'll be secure on there. So yeah, I need this because I, I keep some extra stuff in here. Actually, let me take out something that's in here. There's a picture of me and Clarissa. <laughs> She'll know what this is um, that's in there. So um, yeah, so the cover, like I said, I picked mint green because I thought it was really pretty. I think that's probably one of the reasons why I wanted like, I want to try the weeks because of that color. And then got the cover, um, the special cover that they put out for um, the weeks this year. Um, I didn't just go with the regular clear cover. It's cute, but I don't like that it covers the 2024. So um, I haven't done much decoration um, in it. I used my uh, Fememo printer here and printed out some images from Pinterest, but it looks like it's not really holding up well. So I might have to reprint this out and see if, um, I don't know if it's because it's rubbing on here or what, but that's kind of weird that it did not hold up. Now, uh, what I have here, oh, sorry, let me zoom out a little bit. What I have here is a little pocket adhesive pocket that came with it. So you could just like stick it here and then you can put like whatever in there, like a card or I don't know, picture or something. But because the cover already has these little pockets, there is no need for me to use it. So I just save it. So um, I went ahead and printed out another image and um, it looks like it's fading as well. That's so weird because I haven't had that problem with my, um, regular Hobonichi, the images that I printed out. Could be that it just, that time when I printed it, or maybe I used my other printer, could be, um, that it's fading. And then this sticker here is from a packet of stickers that Clarissa generously gifted me um, when she, from when she went to Japan. So I, I haven't really decorated it like I have with my um, regular Hobonichi. So we're going to go ahead and get into the monthly tracker here. Now, I use this, as I've said, for fitness and health tracking, but I've mostly used this for fitness. So as you can see here, all of these each day, these are the number of steps that I've walked. I don't know why I'm missing three here. I need to go back and um, fill those in. So um, yeah, and that one there as well, weird. And then at the end of the month, I would put down the total number of steps that I've walked. So let me zoom in a little bit more there and make sure it's in focus so you can see there. So June, today is June 30th and I have not filled in that day because I do plan on going to the gym later on today. And then at the end of the day, before I go to bed basically is probably when I'll write down 
um, the number of steps and then the total for the month. So I didn't actually start doing this part here until probably April when I don't know why it just didn't even dawn on me. I think I was like flipping through and I was like, Oh, I forgot that I had this. So I went ahead and filled it all in. Now, um, December, I didn't realize it also had a December, um, from last year. So I filled in the steps from that month and put it down here, the total number. So I hope that's in focus. Okay. So we'll go ahead and we'll get into the weekly. So the, with the weekly, I started using these stickers right here. Now I'm not going to show you a lot because I, I have my weight, um, recorded and I stopped. It's not that I stopped. I just haven't gone back and um, recorded my weight since April, the end of April, basically. So I'll go back and I will put this here. I was also um, tracking my BPI, but I, I just decided to stop doing that because the app already um, does that for me. But so what I do here is that I track the number of steps, the um, distance that I've walked that day, uh, the number of calories um, total for that day, according to my watch slash phone. And then um, I like to keep track of my beats per minute, the average, and then um, I think it's the average. Yeah. Or I'll have to look because it shows me two. There's the, I have the first one. And then I know that the, the second one is the highest in terms of beats per minute when, during my workout. So, um, so yeah, so that's what I do on a weekly basis to keep track. Um, cause it's fun to look back and see my progress. Um, I should have wrote on here when I changed from doing my workouts to four, from 45 minutes to 50 minutes. And now I do 60 minutes. So, um, when did I start doing 60 minutes? That had to be, I think I did that at the beginning of the month. I'm gonna have to write that in here. Um, yeah. So I primarily do walking on the treadmill. Um, I do not like to do running because I'm just not, I'm just not up to par with it yet. And I want to kind of build a muscle around my knees because I know that that's a major problem for a lot of people that run. Uh, like my brother, he also started going back to the gym. Actually, he started going back, I think in December and he was complaining to me. We both go to the same gym, but he just goes to a different location. Um, he was complaining to me that his knees were hurting. Like he, he's the opposite of me. Like he would get up early, like at four or five o'clock and then go to the gym. This is four or five o'clock in the morning, go to the gym, run, and then, um, you know, go home, get ready for work. And, um, for those that don't know, um, he owned the clinic that I worked at. So, um, yeah, but anyways, um, yeah, so he was working out, he lost weight, um, like me. Um, but he lost it at, well, he didn't lose it at that as fast as I did because I'm on, I was on Ozempic and then I switched over to Monjuro. Now I'm back on Ozempic. But anyways, um, he was complaining of knee pain and, you know, he just started running. He wasn't like working out and stuff before he started running. He just, just got on the treadmill and just started running. So I told him, it's like, you probably need to do some like leg exercises, um, to kind of build the muscles around your knees if it's hurting that bad. Plus you also need to look at your shoes too, because that's important. I didn't know that. I just, you know, bought a pair of like trainers that I thought looked really cute and just started using that. And then, oh boy, developed plantar fasciitis. And I didn't realize that I needed really good supporting, uh, really good arch support. So I had that problem like around um, September and uh, yeah, around September of last year for about a month. Oh my God, it hurt so bad if I didn't have like arch support, um, insult, you know, inserts in my shoes. And then I, you know, so I had to switch from these shoes that I had ordered from Adidas. Didn't even try on before ordering, obviously, because I ordered it straight from the website to, um, getting some of these Nikes that I was able to try on before purchasing and they fit great. And I've been using those since, um, I only use those for the gym. So, and they've been holding up really well, you know, I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be maybe another two or three months before I'm going to have to swap them out. Cause I, I have a backup pair that I bought, but, um, yeah. So anyways, um, that's 
kind of like, like I said, I haven't started running it because I need to start doing the leg exercises to kind of build up that, those muscles in my legs. Um, if I want to do that, but I don't know, I don't, I just don't really like running. <laughs> so I want to, my goal is actually to get on the elliptical, but I still need to build up, um, you know, build up the quads. So, um, yeah. So that's why I, I kind of want to keep track of my progress here. I've been working out since uh, July of last year and it's helped out a lot because, you know, with, coupled with changing my diet, I mean, I have lost, I've lost um, about almost 50 pounds since, um, since last year. And, um, you know, I had a, a, a slight setback, you could say in the past month, um, yeah, where I gained back 10 pounds, which is kind of weird. But then I wasn't on Monjuro or Ozempic. Um, one, because I ran out of the Monjuro. Two, because I didn't have health insurance anymore. And three, it didn't dawn on me be that I could use my backlog of Ozempic shots, um, pens that I still have. I have like enough for like six months um, to use those. And, um, you know, now that I'm back on it, it's not so much about trying to lose the additional weight. It's more about just helping maintain my glucose. Um, but in terms of like the, you know, gaining the weight back, it's probably because I'm just, I'm at home and I'm eating more than, than I did when I was working. Cause when, you know, when you're working, you're busy and stuff. And, um, yeah, I'm here at home. So I'm like, okay, we have pizza instead of just eating like one slice. I was, I ate three, you know, we had pizza yesterday. So it's like, I have to remember, it's like, um, yeah, you need to limit it, you know, two slices max, um, that kind of thing. And, um, you know, just, I don't know, just get back into, um, that whole healthy eating kind of thing. I mean, I have limited my, um, my rice intake and that's really hard consider if you're asian yes because you grew up eating rice you know and sometimes it's it's really really hard now um white rice in particular because that's that was what we you know we grew up eating that's like bread for non-asians right so i've had to switch over to brown rice but there are times when it's like i don't have the brown the brown rice on hand because um my parents eat white rice, even though my mom shouldn't because she's diabetic as well. And that's already been cooked. It's in the rice cooker and it's just easy to go ahead and get versus I have to go and get a pack of my microwavable, um, you know, brown rice, heat that up, you know, and there's only like so much in it. I can probably get two meals out of one packet. And I usually get those from Aldi, but um, yeah, it's just a matter of, you know, thinking ahead and, um, preparing, you know, stuff like that. But I always make sure to always have like, um, lots of vegetables. You know, I eat a lot of spinach salads. I, I can't stand lettuce, um, lettuce type of salads because to me, lettuce has no nutritional value whatsoever. It's rabbit food, um, to me because we had rabbits and we used to give them lettuce all the time. That's how I think of lettuce. So I really like spinach. So I would eat a lot of spinach. And if I'm not eating spinach, then just make sure I have a lot of like, um, vegetables, um, available. And then a lot of fruit, a lot of berries, um, blueberries, strawberries, um, blackberries are great, but, um, ah, they don't taste as good unless they're like from our backyard, which we do grow. Um, and what else? Raspberries but primarily strawberries and blueberries. Um, and, and then, you know, as far as protein, it's a lot of chicken. Um, I am trying to eat more, um, fish, more salmon to get those omega threes, but yeah, you know, just really eat a balanced diet. I don't eat as much fast food nowadays as I did. Let's say, um, at the, let's say before the beginning of last summer, um, and it's funny because I thought that I would miss it, but I, yeah, I don't, I don't really miss it. You know, it's the idea. It's like, it's funny because I'm on the treadmill, I'm working out, I'm listening to my music and I'm watching the TV right on the treadmill, but I have it like set to, um, subtitles and, um, great thing about when I'm on the treadmill at the particular time that I go is that 
I can set it to, um, what is this, USA Network and watch Law & Order SVU because they show it all afternoon, right? So it, it helps speed up the time that I'm on there I, before I know it's like, one episode, it's like, I'm done, you know? So it's like, I'm watching SVU. And then when the commercials come on, you know, I see like, oh, they're showing, you know, pizza or like burgers and stuff. And it's just like, you know, I'm looking at it and I'm like, hmm, no, don't really feel like it. I'd rather go home and eat my salad. <laughs> it's not tempting me, you know? It's even funnier is like when I exit the gym, there is literally a CeCe's Pizza, like two stores down from the gym and I can smell it. And it's just like, oh, it smells so good. But it's like, I know I can't, you know? And it, so yeah, just gotta like, you know, just stay focused and um, just remember overall, it's it's good for you, you know? But anyways, um, this is all about the Obonichi here. So like I said, I have been tracking for like the last um, six months. And now that I'm already on June 30th, I'm like, do I plan on using this next year? Now, I will finish this out. Don't get me wrong. I will finish this out. I, it's kind of sad that I have not made any use of this right here, but I, I don't. I don't really feel like I need to use that. Um, this part right here, I have not put the stickers down for my weight. I probably won't at this point now use any more stickers for the weight part. Um, I'll just go ahead and write it down. And I thought I was going to keep track of like my glucose here and stuff, but because I have the sensor, it, um, I can just like print out a, a monthly report, a weekly report, whatever, if I wanted to. So it was kind of pointless to do it here. Um, you know. I might just go ahead and just write down at the end of the month, like my range um, in terms of like what my glucose is, because I can track that on here. So like currently right now, this is my glucose, right? And um, so I have it set to like the last three hours. Obviously it was over 200, like barely because I had breakfast, but I can look at it and this is how it's going up and down. Yesterday was bad because, like I said, I had three slices of pizza at my niece's party. Um, but, like, I'll probably use this information right here, which is the, um, you know, time and range, so that I kind of know how I did that week, right? So, um, yeah. Um, I don't think I will purchase this again next year for this particular reason. Um, because I realized as I was, you know, filling in the stuff, um, I think this was probably earlier in the month. Cause I was thinking, it's like, oh, you know, it's almost six months. Think about, am I going to do this again next year? Um, and the reason why I said that I'm not going to is because I can already do all of that in my regular Hobonichi. I forgot that it has this right here this tracker. Okay. And then, cause I never make use of the monthly, I can actually write down all that other information that I keep track of, which is the, um, you know, the distance, the number of calories burnt, um, my beats per minute, you know, that, all that stuff, keep it track, keep track of it here and then make use, actual use out of this because, um, I don't think it has. Yeah. Because other than that, I mean, I've been pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't say I've been pretty consistent. <laughs> I've, um, I try to make the effort to at least put one or two entries in a week for the Hobonichi. Um, I would say that I've done more this, um, this month than I have in the last six months, <laughs> for instance, like Wednesday. So what I do is I typically will print out a picture so that way I can go back and write the entry. Um, but yeah, I think I will just do this. I think it's just going to be the better option all in one kind of thing. Cause I, I just doing two planners. It was a lot of work. I don't know how people are able to do like five, you know, when you see all of the Hobonichi halls, um, around October, September, October, of the year because that's when they put out the new stuff for the following year. And I you see all these people purchase so many planners. I'm like, how do you do it? I don't have, I mean, I have plenty of time, but I just don't want to devote my time to that. Um, 
so yeah, this was fun, you know, um, as a, I guess just a try out, but, um, if I ever purchase the weeks again, it will probably be for like a job where if I'm so busy that I really do have to plan it out, I think that the weeks would be perfect as a work planner because the fact that, you know, you got your week here, write down all the things that you, you've got to like keep track of, and then you've got that extra space there to do it. And it's so portable to keep in like your purse, your work purse, you know, whatever, um, and stuff. It doesn't take up a lot of space on your desk as well. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do, um, in the future. If I have to, like I said, purchase the weeks again, but in the meantime, um, it's been great using this. Um, and I just wanted to give a follow-up as to how I've been with the Hobonichi weeks. All right. So I should be back again. Um, I hope we will have a video on um, the Korean sunscreens that I've been using lately. Um, the reason why I want to do that video is because, you know, there's not much out there in terms of like for women that are over 50. Um, everything that's up is all just Gen Z. <laughs> and I kind of want to talk about that, um, what I've been using um, to, you know, to keep away the brown spots and stuff. And I have, um, I have like several sunscreens that I'm rotating, um, with. So yeah. So, you know, look for that video coming up soon. All right. So I hope everybody has a great week and a great day. Bye.